So four years ago, I posted my very first YouTube video, and now fast forward two years, I'm working full time as a doctor, anywhere from 50 to 80 hours a week. Here's how I manage both. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about how I balance my life as a full-time doctor as well as a content creator here on YouTube. And so I'll be sharing a few tips that help me balance both without really feeling like I'm conflicting between my two busy lives. And if you're watching this video and you're like, I have no intention of being a YouTuber, no worries, just take my YouTube time and fill it in with whatever side project or hobby that you wanna make more time for while you're on a busy medical journey. And so that means that even if your side project is to become better at under basket water weaving, it doesn't matter. I promise you these strategies will help you do that. So the first thing I do in managing a busy life as a doctor as well as still being able to create content is finding open times in my schedule. So currently I'm in my second year of a three year residency, which means that all my hours, depending on the rotation, can be anywhere from 50 to 80 hours on average. And then you throw upon a few rotations where I have to do a 28 hour call, meaning I show up to the hospital at 7 a.m. and I don't leave until 11 a.m. the following day. So you can imagine that finding time just to sleep, much less do other things like create videos can be really challenging. So to help make this process easier, I like to visually see what time is available. So as you guys can see, this is my actual calendar right now on a day by day as well as a week by week basis, currently on the heart failure, heart transplant service, and it takes a lot of my hours. So there'll be days like today where I'm working night shifts, so I don't go to work until seven and then come home at 7 a.m. Or there'll be days where I work from, again, a 28 hour call, like Thursday this week, where I'll work from seven until 11 the following day. So looking at this, I can now see, okay, what hours have been taken by an obligation that I really have no control over, like work, and then finding open hours of time where I can actually do things. So typically my routine is at the start of the week or the start of the month, I try to find these open slots and then fill them with things that I wanna do, like create content for YouTube. So as you guys can see, like perfect example, time like right now is considered to be YouTube time that's been blocked out previously, and this is what I'm using to record this video, but other times of the week are dedicated specifically for other things like creating new video ideas or outlining a new video or just filming in general. But having a visual representation of my overall schedule really allows me to still feel in control of a really hectic and busy life as a doctor. So the second step that I use to balance a busy work life as well as creating content is I try to simplify the process every step of the way. So when I look at something like creating videos, I have to ask myself, how do I go from idea to recording to publishing as quickly as possible? And so at each of these phases, I try to make as many upgrades or iterations on how I do my simple step-by-step -step process. So for example, well, here is my notion kind of board of all the video ideas that I want to create. And I kind of do this in a way where it's easy for me to collect ideas based off of recommendations that you guys obviously give or things that I get inspired by when I'm at work or reading a book um, and things I want to make future videos about and so I collect them into Notion in this way so that way if I need to record a video I simply have a bunch of ideas I can quickly jump into and then also using Notion I can categorize which videos I'm currently working on which videos need to be edited or which videos need to like be scripted and outlined so as you guys can see this current video that I'm making right now is under the a roll meaning I'm recording it um, and then I still have recording this video and then I'll go ahead and move it to the editing file but having a system where I can easily move from idea to recording to publishing through Notion really has helped me speed up the process and again allows me to use that time more effectively. Again, I like to simplify every single phase. So we talked about actually coming up with ideas and getting ready to record, but I try to make sure that the actual recording part is as easy as possible. So let me actually show you behind the scenes of what this looks like. So this is, as you guys can see from my phone view, essentially what you're seeing, the camera is mounted to my desk and so, and so is the mic. So I can essentially sit here in this beautiful chair and just get ready to record. And then I can see myself, um, so hi guys. Um, and my idea is this is the Notion board that I was just showing you guys. So I can just turn the camera on, the mic is always on, and I can quickly just hit record either through my laptop or the camera and start recording. And then using the power of technology, everything I record goes from the camera immediately to this beautiful box here through my laptop into the cloud through Google Drive. So all my videos don't have to be stored and I don't have to like take out a memory card, put it into my laptop. The process is super simple. Now, while I'm currently in love with this setup, it's basically a setup that was created throughout necessity because I used to be able to do the same basic thing where I would record on a camera, take out a memory card, put it up, wait for it to upload on my laptop, just take a lot of bunch of time and then get into the editing. I've just, again, try to simplify the process, come up with the idea, record the darn video, and then get ready to edit and publish it. So again, it doesn't matter if YouTube or creating video content is not your actual side project. Project. Figure out what you want to do and ask yourself how can you spend the most amount of time doing that and take out those fluffs, find those little micro wastes of time and over time you come up with this beautiful system that just seems very elegant, obviously through multiple iterations, but elegant nonetheless. The so step number three that I use to balance a busy life as a doctor as well as creating content on YouTube is to make sure that I batch 
head. Now I've made a full video on batching and specifically how you can use it in studying in medical school. I'll link it down below as well as put the thumbnail over here. Uh, but batching is probably one of my favorite things to do to help improve my productivity. So if you go back to my Google Calendar, you can see that I'm not simply going from video idea to scripting to recording and then repeating the process because eventually I'm gonna be losing momentum. So instead what I'd like to do is do a few outlines, a few video ideas at one time and then sit down and record a few videos in a row. But on the other hand, I may have a week where I have the whole weekend off and so that may be a perfect opportunity to do some video recording. And finally, step number four to balance a busy work schedule with a side project I wanna work on is to make sure that I make it fun throughout the process. I absolutely love making videos for you guys. I think part of it is just because there are experiences that I have and I realize, man, if I was like in my shoes even two days ago, this is what I would have told myself and I would have considered that to be great advice. And so then I put it into the format of a video. Some of it hits home, some of it doesn't, but as long as there's one person on the other side of this camera that says, oh, that actually helped me, let me try to use that. Let me try to see if I can change how I do things in the short term the long term, I feel like these videos are worth it. And so not only can I help myself in the future by learning from my own mistakes, but making these videos, it's just a fun process because ideally there are some of you out there that are avoiding the mistakes that I made, ideally having more successes than I did. So in the back of my head, this side project is a reminder that my journey is not only my journey. I can use my experiences to try to ideally help you and then hopefully you guys can experience that throughout the other videos in this channel. But in all honesty and full disclaimer, the process of making a video can easily become a chore, especially if I have days and weeks that are really busy from ICUs to 28 hour calls to 80 hour weeks. Last thing I may wanna do is sit here, come up with an idea and make a video for you guys. And instead, I'd rather prefer to be sleeping in bed. But again, if I remind myself the enjoyment of making a YouTube video or the enjoyment of the side project is to essentially have a collection of tips that anyone in the future, whether it be a month from now or two years from now could watch and say, that helped me out. Then I feel like the whole process was worthwhile. And so again, even if your side project is something that you're personally working on, like improving your fitness or starting a side project of your own, as long as you can look at it from two years down the road and saying that, that time was worth it, then ideally try to make that process as simple, as fun as possible so then you can do it as much as possible. But that guys is how I balance my time as a full-time doctor as well as a YouTube content creator. Hopefully you can use some of these tips and strategies to help you on whatever side project or things that you wanna do outside of medicine for yourself. Now if you have more questions on how I balance the two or specifically to me being a full-time physician, add your comments down below. I love interacting and answering your questions so make sure you add those comments below. If you did enjoy this video, again, I really ask for two things really. One, if you found any of these tips helpful, try to apply them to your day-to-day -day and tell me down below in the comments comments how it helped you. And number two, if you did enjoy this video, if you enjoy the content on the channel, go ahead hit that like button because it truly does help the videos get in front of more people that have never experienced the MD journey or any of the tips that we like to give on this channel. So my only humble request is, is that if you hit the like button, do it one more time, do it a third time just in case it didn't work. And if you haven't for some reason joined the community, hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this on a weekly basis. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Hopefully I was just a little help to you guys on yours. And if you enjoyed this video, then check out this this video on how you can use Angi to study like a pro on your medical journey. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And so that means that even if, and so that means that even if your side hobby is under basket water weaving, that means that even if your side hobby is under basket water weaving, so water weaving.